Up until then, it was a pipe dream. We were fighting a public health crisis, giving away pot, educating people about marijuana and AIDS. Good, all power to it, but we're not threatening anybody. We didn't change anything. Nobody's doing anything. Our laws got vetoed. Suddenly we're on the ballot. Now that wasn't supposed to happen. Washington sees this and goes crazy. Now they're awake. They've just had a bucket of water dumped on their sleeping little heads. They've jumped up and they're mad about it. The guys in Washington and the Republicans here and the Republican Attorney General's office and the rogue cops here suddenly team up and say, bust these guys, let's make it a crime scene. By making a crime scene, we will make the California electorate say we're getting out of that mess. They were counting on us getting up and fighting again and again. And by the time this was done, the voters weren't going to know what was going on. It was going to be messy. And that's what they were looking for, confusion. It's all the dust settled. They said, what are you going to do now? We're going to stop. We're not going to open up. We got this far. We're close to the finish line. If the voters want this to happen, they're going to have to vote for it. They come over to this house and they, they kick the door down and they go upstairs and they grab Dennis and arrest him. So that the headlines say that the author of Prop 215 was arrested and is in jail. The result was it bumped us six points up in the polls. So we won the election. Greatest party on the face of the earth. I mean, the club, the man on an election night was standing room only. The smoke just pouring out of the windows of that building. Holy God, man, you just would have sworn it was a five alarm fire. It was great. 